Our first demonstrator hails from Tennessee. He has done many things in his life. I think he's going to be a very entertaining demonstrator, a very black artist. Please join me in welcoming John Weiner. joints I found by just piercing a hole, cutting it open, slitting and drifting. Um, so I'm going to do a little play with that. You can see how I work at home. I have a fly press, a large power hammer, but most everything is done at the anvil. And um, first thing I'm going to do is put a head on the uh, bullpen. And then we're going to um, slit and drift a couple holes. I'm going to try and keep them as straight as I can. This is one of those jobs I'm constantly torn between a shop foreman saying, let's go, let's go, let's go, get it done. If I'm trying to put it in a certain amount of time and the artistic nature of trying to bring something to life. So here's my little sculpture here. The other day I came up, I with a little piece of gear, and this is just uh, this I, I'm going to try and be going after. Something kind of simple that I think I can pull off. That comes to I want to show some kind of movement. Thanks. get that off there quick because I am taking it down pretty far there.
I've got to remember I want to set the holes for the piece that is going to be put in. So I need to keep the fairly straight so I can drift it in. I'll use, uh, I'll use the one piece, I'll heat up the hole, and use one piece to hammer it in. Anytime you see a bunch of blacksmiths leaning over the back of the pickup, there must be something good in there. Uh, September 15th is when I do the Goddess Festival, and then it's the following weekend that I do my workshop. Okay. Some stuff already. Oh, uh, so not yeah. too much. But Tables or anything. Uh, that would uh, kind of be nice. Do you have? Do you have purple lights? Nice. Put it up and in it. I'll get that food dapper. How's your fishing? Cute little hundred-pound anvil. Looks like he wants five hundred dollars for it. Willie's got some cute little grinders and a little vise, forge burners, hammer. About a 14 pound sledgehammer for him, so I already got that set aside. And some of the stuff that uh, Janet and I brought with us. And a really neat, heavy duty old scale I just don't have room for in the shop. And an old three burner Ford, which is already spoken for and we just got to move it over and it's actually friday saturday sunday load it in the back of freak's truck here at the blacksmithing conference. This year's project is to make a perfect sphere out of a one-inch cube. 
The cube starts off welded on a piece of steel. Contestants have uh, 20 minutes to complete the task, and that includes heating and fire maintenance. Thank you. 